viewers and welcome back to the self made auto channel it is a 2016 ram tough promaster city needs some front brakes you got about 49k on it thought i'd bring you along because frankly who doesn't love another brake job video we've never done a promaster they are of the european descent or style anyways as you can tell by no wheel studs who thought of that design and it has electronic wear indicators on the inside brake pad, which we'll start by weaseling that little guy out of there. You can almost hear old Mima now. These fancy cars with their electronic brake pads. <laughs> That's not really what she sounded like, but we'll take and unplug that. And then we have to wiggle, 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 get it off its bracket. So it's just a single pin, standard little connector. Feels super duper cheap. So proceed with caution and then we've got these little caps on the end here we'll pop them little guys off so we can get to the back side of the caliper which takes a seven millimeter allen socket if i get it on my impact there's that so this is seven millimeter allen make sure it's in all the way so you don't go stripping them out Like to get them where I could pull them out all the way because we'll have to wire wheel them over there in the Roger. Get the bottom one here. Sometimes they get some rubber build up on the end, like that one does, that little black gobbly gook. We'll get that off there. Then we'll grab our favorite pry driver. I'll give this just a little push in. It's going to be creaky. Ooh, don't break the tip. That right, should be in far enough that way there's an anti-rattle clip on the outside we must get. So give this guy a little push. Typically you push him and then you can flick him out. There you go. They go in a little easier than they come out. We'll show you when we put the new one in. We'll wiggle our caliper off. Kind of set that there gingerly. Now our outside pad. So lots of beef left on her. All right, however, our insides, not quite to the electronic wear indicator. However, the lady wanted to do them now, so she didn't have to stop back. But you can see the inside pad is quite low, almost down to where it was going to break the wire. Other side is a little bit worse. It's got some pretty heavy grooving in it. It's groovy, baby. And what we want to do is well here, right here. And we'll stick a pad up into our caliper that you can't see off screen and push it back in. Piston is in. Don't see any air trap under the boot. I'm going to scrape some of the crud off that's stuck on here. Make sure we're not going to have any clearance issues with our new rotors or anything like that. Fantastic. Now I'm going to take a caliper hook, a bright one, so you're less likely to leave it under the vehicle. Let's hang her up here and we'll pull our bracket off. And that requires an E socket, an E16, so it's going to be an inverted Torx. I'd like to get stuck on there. Couldn't work on European stuff all day. Well, I'll beat that uh, bolt out of there. Give her a little whack. Right, loosen her up. So that's what those little guys look like. They don't last long in the Northeast. They usually turn into like just rounded little humps after a while. Of course, this is only a few years old, so it's not too bad. There's the other one. And then our bracket's off. Now, this bracket, uh, typical Chrysler, you know, looks like a Chrysler bracket. Can't really use a file on these good, so I'm just going to throw it in the sandblaster. Before we do that, we will zip and zap the rotor off. I'm going to take this little guy out. This is our rotor wheel aligner device. 
apparatus. And now, we're gonna bust out these so you know what's next. Oh yeah, big nasty. He was overcome the other day. He's got, uh, oh, to make up for that, I guess. Whizzy wheel tool. Got us a fresh can of the film. Give that a little squirt. setting one just like so and then I've cleaned our caliper bracket so get all the rust in the gobbledygook out of the end we will give it a little bit of the caliper grease hopefully slow down its rusting now this style bracket typically does not seize the pads uh, it's actually a great bracket to have in the Northeast wherever salt is used because the pads don't seize however they did wear very unevenly on this vehicle as you saw maybe that's characteristic of these but you know almost 50k on her that's not too bad for a set of brakes we'll find the bolts we'll stick this back up on here down to factory specs we will install our napa premium brake pads not a sponsor we'll get our caliper out here we can get the twist out of it we'll layer up here now the inside pad has the wire on it and that's going to have to go down in the hole so we'll stick that in the hole and then this has what they call a rose clip on it i don't know why they named it after rose Everybody remember Rose from the Golden Girls? If you do, well, <laughs> you're old. I don't remember. I've heard about her, but I don't remember. So we're going to do that up a little bit there. I think it's a rose clip because it looks like a profile of a rose, perhaps. Useless knowledge. We're going to put a little grease on the caliper face without being a slob. All right, so that's good. And I do see our boot, our caliper boot, does have a little bit of air under it. So I'm going to very gingerly get under the lip of it. The lip's way in on this little guy. And we will deflate it. Just push it around. Right, now it's sitting nice. You just don't want that edge of the boot coming out, the rubber getting pinched on the back of the pad. There's that. And while we're right here, we will take our grease and we will go in the where the caliper pins are going to go. Make sure that has some lubrication in there also. I forgot to shine up my pins. So make sure they're lubed. You don't have to overdo it. Just enough. Yeah, ding dong. I almost forgot. I'm gonna put a little lube on the inside ears. Keep them from building up rust. Also keep the noise down. Ran around town, slip it in. We will insert our pins, caliper bolts, and I did clean these up. All 
Oh, how many brake jobs will you guys watch? I'm just curious. I think I mentioned that in my last brake job video. I'm just curious. I could probably give you three a day, maybe four. I'll put these little guys in now. These are kind of tender. You're going to want to do these by hand. Impacts tend to, you know, get a little hog wild on these. So make sure you torque them to spec. And then we will rerun the wire through its little clip. And then as a little spot here, we can slip it back on. Maybe. Slide that little guy in, then we'll just plug her back in. Don't forget to plug in your brake pads, obviously. There's that, and then we have a new metal clip for the front. Bring that here, get it underneath. That's always fun. Always fun. Up and in. There it is. Get a hammer. Make sure it is. There's little grooves inside here. Ah, crap. Little grooves in here that that'll actually click into on the edge of it. Let me find. This is what the side profile looks like. Uh, let's see. Can you see that little ear on the clip where it goes in and latches right there? That little guy. So just so you know. And your caliper should float. And that's it. Put your wheel on. Pump up your brakes. Fill up your brake fluid. If it's not already, take it for a shake. But don't do that until you finish the job. Got the little black caps. There you have it, folks. Front pads, rotors on your 2016 Ram Tough Promaster City. Pretty easy job. Not much to say. Make sure you pump up them brakes, though, so you don't send yourself for a little ride and a little panic. You'll know what I mean if you've done it. What I want you to do is go down there in the comment box, leave your questions, comments, criticisms, concerns. While you're down there, subscribe to everything that you do. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.